Looking further back into space history, this Tuesday marks 65 years since the first artificial Earth satellite was launched. Sputnik 1 was launched on October 4, 1957, on a Sputnik rocket designed by Sergei Korolev, chief engineer of the early Soviet space program. Sputnik lifted off from the world's first and largest spaceport, Baikonur Cosmodrome, in what was then the former Soviet Union, now the country of Kazakhstan. Sputnik 1 flew in an elongated 215-kilometer by 939-kilometer orbit with a period of 96.2 minutes. It transmitted radio beeps for 22 days until its battery ran out. Uh, it orbited for exactly three months, falling back into Earth's atmosphere on January 4, 1958. In the intervening 65 years, thousands of satellites have been launched from many countries. About 8,000 remain in orbit, and 5,000 are still active. Half that number, 2,494, belong to one company, SpaceX, with their Starlink meg mega constellation. I still have the dish behind me, which you can see in the full screen view. Uh, I expect I'll reactivate my Starlink service at some point, but I've no idea when. And don't get on SpaceX's case too much for having such an abundance of satellites uh, litter littering our nighttime view of the sky, although I can never actually see them myself because I have light pollution. Uh, because whether SpaceX, uh, Amazon, you know, OneWeb, or another country, uh, the mega constellations were coming. They, they were inevitable in this increasingly connected world, and SpaceX was simply um, the first to deploy a truly mega constellation of satellites.